Good morning everybody, it is 7.34, showered head, takes two seconds to dry, I love it, just need to put some makeup on so I don't look so pasty, Pete left for work already, he's meeting Al, one of our guys at the school because he's doing the no hate campaign today, um, he's done it the last few years, it's a bit windy but it is sunny, it's supposed to warm up for the weekend which will be nice and um, I'm just watching loose women having a cup of coffee. And getting on with the day. Ash is going to work, but I think she's not going until a little bit later on. So, oh, this is what getting up in the morning looks like. Oh, I'm so tired. I woke up at four, five, six, and then finally got up at six thirty. What are you gonna do? Guys, I've been really bad on shout outs this week. It's just been one of those weeks. So I'm getting back to it today. It's Friday. It's a good day to do a shout out. Follow Friday and all that. Freaky Friday. Follow Friday. Because I am here. Hello. Oh my, how can my camera be dead again? Oi, Roxy, we need a new camera. It's time to... Where are you? I need a new camera, Roxy. Can you put a request in for Mother's Day, please? Thank you. <laughs> She's like, whatever. She goes, you always put me in the middle. Anyway, we just was on. I was just on. Or Roxy and I. You see how I speak of Roxy like she's a we? We are a we, aren't we? We are. Um, just on Gina's live in Australia. It's always interesting, isn't it? Like, YouTube brings so many people together. I've said this before. It brings so many people together from all around the world, different time zones, different this, different that. I mean, we're at 9.40 right now in the morning, and in England, it's, you know, five hours ahead, and Germany, I believe, is six hours ahead. I think JJ's life in Finland, I think you may be six hours ahead of us. And then I've got friends in the States that are two hours behind us and three hours behind us. It's all over the place. But it's fun that we all can connect on this one little machine sitting in our own homes, seeing what everyone else gets up to in different parts of the world. And I've said this before about Gina's vlogs. If you don't watch Gina's vlogs, you truly are missing out because that woman has more energy than I have in my whole body in her little finger. She is... She just, she's just one of these people that you just automatically connect with. And it was nice to see the brights were on there, Jitterflix, um, Giselle was on there from Growing Roots. So, you know, it just goes to show like we all, we all like kind of move in the same circles. And, and then you meet people, other people. One way I find different channels on YouTube, I'll tell you, if it's a channel I truly enjoy, I'll go down the comments and read some of the comments. And you meet other people that way because I'll click on somebody's name and see that they do vlog or they do this or they do that. So it's interesting, you know, how we all come together. I've been, like I said before, really bad on shout outs this week. It's just been one of those weeks like when I've been in front of the computer, I've either been doing stuff or, you know, watching vlogs while I'm doing stuff. As you can see, I, I usually... Um, do stuff, on, uh, listen to vlogs on here and watch on here, but right now I've got Facebook open on here, so um, I'm just about to do a shout out for Jitter Flicks, in fact. Jitter Flicks is my shout out for today. I do watch, but I don't watch enough, and I'm going to rectify that right now. So they do vlogs, family of four in Florida, and um, they're just full of energy, and I absolutely love it. So here you go. Hi, uh, good morning guys, it's the next day. I figure me and we are up real early in the morning. The sun hasn't even came up yet. I figure I take time to teach my son how to use the drone. So how do you feel that you're gonna hope I don't mess this thing. Mess it up. That's how you drive it. They tomorrow. fascinate me. So I hope you guys enjoy watching Rigo fly the drone for the first time. There he goes. That rain's getting closer. There's the second desert rose. Jitterman just did this one. As you can see it's a little bit bigger. It's still blooming nicely. So one of the kids over here working. She just took Anyway guys, like I said, my battery is flashing at me. Very rude and inconsiderate. So I'm gonna put you on charge and go take the pups out, get something to get some toast or bacon. Bacon, yeah. As soon as I said the word bacon, toast just went out the window. Um, a cup of coffee and we'll be back. 
Hi guys, I feel like all I do is sit here when I, I vlog at the moment because I went to the bank and I had to get money for petty cash for tomorrow because I forgot to do it yesterday and Ash and I went to the bank. It's three now, can't believe Got in the car and I went to grab the camera just to have a couple of words in the driveway and it's not there. Pete always tells me to, to vlog on my phone. I just don't like, I just, I can't come to grips with that. I'm just used to holding this thing even though probably would get better... Um, clips with that because this thing is going this thing is going going fast this was one of the first vlogging cameras I've had I've had a couple since and my last one which I absolutely love that I got for Christmas a couple of years ago with the you know the the lenses that come off and on and <laughs> changeable lenses you'd think I'd know all this I, I'm just so tired these days but you'd think I'd know all this with Pete being a photographer but anyway um yeah the exchangeable lenses Change, changeable lenses but one of them broke um, we had it fixed once and then it went do dally again and it won't won't work the only lens that I have for the camera right now is a really long one and I think I'd look pretty stupid walking down the street or in the car vlogging with a lens from the camera to here like can you see no you can't see <laughs> The, oh, I can't do it. Anyway, that big, so. I borrowed Ashley's one day, and for some reason when I downloaded the clips on my computer, there was no sound, so hers are perfect. She vlogged it, um, she vlogged all the weekend last weekend, and, you know, she's done videos. Well, she usually does her makeup tutorials and her unboxings with her big camera that she's got. But, yeah, we've got to do something about it, don't we, Roxy? Because I'm not going all summer with this. Because some of the things will get a little bit nicer. The boat key is apparently coming. They mailed it out this week. Let's see if the mail did come through the door. I didn't hear anything and Roxy didn't hear anything. Otherwise she would have barked her little head off. Which means usually it's a different person. Oh, that's why it's just shoved in the door. So let's have a quick look and see if uh, the boat key came. It's definitely a different person because he shoves it right through the door. What's that? No, it doesn't look like anything I've been waiting for. Oh, there's a lot of envelopes in there. Let's have a look. Is it bill day already? I felt like I just paid bills last couple of days. Too many bills. Uh, trooper, yes, after money. Sue, be debt free in only 24 to 48 hours, months. You are pre qualified. Yay. No, thank you. Import. That's not us, that's next door, 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 and that's next door. Can't even give us our own mail. Alright, I'm just going to go take this next door. Well, just to see if he got any of our mail, and they're not there so I've just pushed it through his door. So now I've done the mailman's job for him as well. How hard is it? This happens a lot. Ooh, my doctor's office, when I first had my back surgery, they used to mail my prescriptions to me. And one time I was in so much pain, I was waiting, waiting. Days went by and I kept calling them. They're like, we mailed it. Okay. Finally, found out after about 10 days, the lady next door had it. What are you holding on to it for? It says a doctor on the outside. Something is up with Pete's computer. I can't check anything. The mouse is moving. It's lovely. It's frozen, but I don't want to turn it off at the mains because he's got the website up over there and he's planning on putting the, the website live tonight, finally. Because now everyone's calling us, oh my god! <laughs> I went on to look at my pictures and it said the site's not not working anymore. No, it isn't. Uh, we took your pictures last July, though. Um, so I don't want to turn it off in case he's got something going, but there again, he's going to have to anyway. He has two computers running, so you flip between the two. Oop. I don't know. You flip between the two on that little thingy-majig, and um, I'm very technical, aren't I? But both of the mice are working, whereas usually, a, oh, I say that. Where did you go? Clip, I can't. Let me text him and let him know. Maybe he'll say, because like I said, I don't want to 
just turn it off at the mains if there's something that he's got going. And then I'm going to kill it, if you know what I mean. Because I turned mine off by accident yesterday. I, I was unplugging the lights when Ash and I were going out on the desk. But instead of unplugging the lights, I ended up... <laughs> I ended up turning the whole thing off. It's like, you idiot. Not the way to. Louis, go lay down. There's a good boy. Anyway, I'm going to text Pete and see what he says and carry on watching. I'm just watching the Our Family vlogs. All right, Luke, can I get by, sunshine? Because I... every time I go to walk over him, like step over him, he stands up or moves and then I end up tr tripping. It's a beer shop. <laughs> the beer shop. All that sells is beer and soda, right? Yep. Guys, we just did the beer mart, or beverage mart, which sells pretty much beer and, beer. and soda. They had and soda, beer. which they probably got for Costco. I saw that too, and I wondered if it was that lad from Rybrook, if they were all doing it in unison, but... No, because I saw it in, in Greenwich, oh. I mean, in, in Stanford too. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I haven't been to a beverage mart in about 20 years. Sue's gonna get liquored up. Yep, on my Bud Light with lime. <laughs> now, this is where we used to live. We had to move out because we found out we were pregnant with Ashley. This was my boss's house. And it was the noisiest apartment we ever had because on the corner is a bar. And everyone used to come over from Connecticut because their bars close early. Yep. So that little house on the corner, which you can't see because of the sun right now, the black and white one. We had the whole second floor. Guys, I'm filming this street because it's so pretty with the little circle thing there. Ashley loves this street too. If I was a grown up, I'd want to live on this street. <laughs> Oh, and that's it, that's the end of the street. <laughs> yeah. Guys, they had these again uh, from Costco. Pete and I just ran to Costco basically to get stuff for tomorrow. But um, these aren't for tomorrow. <laughs> they had these, which is great. And we get Pete's, um, yes, as you can imagine. As all you photographers out there know, we go through a heck of a lot of batteries. They didn't have the sandwiches I like to get the guys. So we got two of these pinwheels. Because um, it's a long day. Uh, we got this for dinner tonight, chicken palm sandwiches, so we're going to put that in the oven and then we'll just do fries with it. We've got some more of the lemon bites because they are absolutely amazing. Uh, two loaves of bread and then the Starbucks mocha fraps because as you know, Ash and I do not go to Starbucks as much as we used to and uh, we're hoping for some hot weather. So Sometimes you don't want soda, you don't want water and you don't want a hot and then a gallon of milk. And we've got the case of water, 40 bottle of water, Poland Springs, which is in the other room, and then we have a case, 36 cans of Pepsi, Alan likes Pepsi, so we'll just take Pepsi, water, and the sandwiches, and then I've got bunches of bags of English crisps that we will take, because last time we worked, we put a few bags in, and Alan took a liking to the Brit stuff, so. Pete and I ran over to the beverage mart, got Pete's and Boston Lager, Sam Adams, and Ash and I got some Bud Light with lime. I have to put it away. <laughs> I think I'm just going to run the sandwiches downstairs, to be honest, because there's really no room up here for anything at all. Guys, it is 10 o'clock. Uh, I'm going to end the vlog here. We just ate dinner, cleaned up. Yeah, I just realized this vlog won't go up until either Saturday night or Sunday morning when I do Saturdays because I'm going to be out of the house so early tomorrow. I do take pictures of the little ones. But anyway, I'm going over into the dark now. <laughs> I'm so tired. But yeah, the alarm set for 5.30. That'll be fun. But anyway, I hope everyone's had a brilliant Friday. Whatever you guys did today, I hope it was a good one. And we will definitely see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Good morning everyone, it is 6.18, ready to go. I woke up at 20 to 5, couldn't sleep so I just showered and got myself sorted. Yeah, so Pete and I are off because the first teams come through at 7.30, Pete said, thought it was 7.45 so best we get over there and get set up now and we will see you when we're on the way. And we're off. 
633. Yep. Well, we're fully embedded in kids in less than an hour. <laughs> in an hour, yeah. First group comes through in uh, 57 minutes. <laughs> and yes, I'm very precise when it comes to this. 56. Pardon? Yeah. What did I say? 57 now, 56. Oh, I thought you were... Countdown. And no coffee di today, guys. Nothing. Yeah, I know. Because I don't want to have to run to the loo every five minutes. It's I too far away. I thought about that for a second. I'm like... I'm no. Around like... It's not worth it. Sun. Of course, there's no clouds today for you. Yeah. First hour, I'd like to have some clouds. Are you going a different way? Well, to pull into the driveway. Oh, I didn't know there was a driveway. And we're allowed to drive over the grass? Yeah. No one ever says anything? No. Ooh. Special. Ash, I never heard. Ashley's like, I wish I could work with you guys. I think over what she's doing with the event this weekend, she'd yeah. rather do what we're doing. Right. I'd rather her do what we're doing too, because I need her. Yeah. But I can't have her. Oh, this is a driveway, it's a path. Well, it's a, this is a driveway to get in here. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. Coming in the back end. Yeah. The help. Yeah. Coming in the help entrance. They're not even here yet. Nah, they'll get here. No, but we usually when we get here, they're setting up. Okay, guys, now it's a path. <laughs> I don't know what that is. We're the first to arrive. There's the baseball field. So you do you have to go out that way too? Yeah. How do you get out that way with all the kids? Just dress slow. Well. And here we are, guys. The nice thing is Pete's car's here, so I can always sit on a comfy seat. Yeah. This is where we'll be for the next few hours. Okay, that's where we do teams. Then we got Pete, one setup, I'll uh, two setups. Get to put Pete's car here, which is lovely. And my setup. Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. It is three o'clock. We are home. Well, I'm home. Pete and Al just went over to somewhere I want to go for a beer and a burger, but I just, I can't do it. My back went out around 10 o'clock and I have been in excruciating pain for the last 10, five hours. So I said to Pete, you guys go, cause I want him to go. He deserves a beer and a burger. Um, he's gonna bring me something back. I said, you guys go and I'll just stay here. And then Louis, for some reason, he hasn't done this in years, piddled in the bedroom. Which has really annoyed me because then I had to clean the bedroom, the floor, which didn't help any more with the pain. So now I'm just going to lay here and do absolutely nothing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to uh, sit here and do absolutely nothing for a few and try and see if I can get the pain under control because it's nasty right now. Um, but it went well, thank goodness. Everybody was nice the uh the weather stayed good it actually started getting warmer i had my jacket on jacket off jacket on jacket off um was under the tent so it was perfect um 
And then just for the last two teams, the wind picked up and we had to take all the sides off the tent because we don't want a repeat of what happened with the football league a couple of, was it a couple of years ago? Yeah, a couple last year? No, a couple of years ago. Where the tent just went up, up, up and away. <laughs> right? Roxy's happy to see me. But yeah, I just really nice group of people and the uh, the board run this one so perfectly that everything just goes like clockwork and it's nice because the coaches were all pleasant they all got their teams there on time nobody moaned and groaned only one lady told me <laughs> there's always one actually you make this very difficult i'm like how so well i want something from this package and something from this package and something from this package but i don't want all this I'm like oh sorry I don't know what to tell you because you know we took out a lot of packages because there was so much and everyone they get overwhelmed the guys are just like I can't believe I have to fill this out some bring it filled out which was good but yeah <laughs> it was just one of those ah uh, it went off without a hitch now I just have to rest my back and play with the dog right what Ash texted me from work. She goes, Mum, this lady that brings Bo in, because they allow dogs to come in there and visit, and they have, well, they used to have dog biscuits behind the registers. Uh, lady that bought Bo in the other day just bought in a little baby girl beagle who has been abandoned at the side of the road, and she's asking if any of us want her. Do you know how much I wanted to say, yes, I want her because of the fact that she was abandoned. But when I come home and I have to do what I just had to do, I'm like, I can't take another one. Three is too many. Right, Rox? You're the baby. <laughs> She's the grump. All right, guys, I'm waffling at you. So I'm going to love and leave you for a bit. And I'm going to rest and talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Everybody, hope you're doing well. It is three minutes to ten. Ash and I just uh, made a pizza. Pete wasn't hungry because he and I went and got burgers and that after. And um, whew, I just stayed here. Louis got really sick while Pete was out, so it wasn't a restful <laughs> hour while they went for their burgers. I was cleaning up after Louis. And uh, now he's fast asleep downstairs. Pete's fast asleep downstairs. Ash has just gone into a room to chill out because she has to be back at work tomorrow. And with this VIB event comes some pretty pushy customers. So she's exhausted, so she's just chilling out for a bit. Um, we were going to go tomorrow. There's an MS walk and my brother and sister-in-laws... My brother-in-law and sister-in-laws are walking and although I knew I wouldn't be able to walk with them when they first put the team together, especially after today, and I mean, just... Uh, um, Pete and I were going to go and try and support them, at least show up to say hello, so Pete was looking up where it was. And, um, sorry, I thought Roxy was there. He just called my brother-in-law because Pete can't find the address and uh, he's like, no, 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 don't come. It's 9.30 in the morning. I'm walking three miles and then I go home. Um, my brother-in-law was diagnosed with MS back in 2012, I believe. So this is the first time they've done the walk. But um, yeah, they have to be there at 9.30. I don't think my bones will allow me to even be functioning. I mean, I'll be up and out of bed because I don't sleep that long, but um, Pete's really in a lot of pain with his knee. I'm in pain with my back. Ashley's just exhausted. <laughs> We're an exhausted household tonight. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put Friday and Saturday's vlog together and I will edit it tomorrow morning because I don't have the uh anything to sit over there right now and edit i'm crouching on the floor trying to stretch my back out and i have a wicked headache and i have a wicked headache i do think now it's from lack of caffeine today because usually i have a couple of coffees in the morning um 
and a tea or two along the way and today I didn't have any of that. Um, I didn't want to have coffee before I left this morning because we left so early and I was afraid of having to hike it to the loo's and not having Ashley on the desk with me, um, the table. I, can't, I couldn't leave it alone that much so I decided not to and then when I came home I didn't either. I just had some water and stuff and I said to Pete, I bet the headaches because I've had no caffeine today, like no proper caffeine. So a cup of coffee right now <laughs> will do me the world of good. So anyway guys, I hope you've all had a fabulous Saturday, whatever it is you guys did today. I hope it was a good one and we will definitely see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank mm -hmm. you.